Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A couple of months ago, Microsoft made a preview version of the new Microsoft Defender app available for Windows insiders to test and try out, as many of you know, and I did post a couple of videos on that previously. Now, yesterday in my region, which was the 16th of June 2022, Microsoft has announced that the new Microsoft Defender app is now officially available for all users now to download and install. So if you are running Windows, you can just head to the Microsoft Store, do a search for Microsoft Defender, where you can download the app now straight from the store. And as mentioned previously, it's also available for iOS, Android, and Mac OS users. So it's a cross-platform antivirus product and solution. Now, just one heads up though, it's not free. So if you want to use the app, you're gonna to have to pay for it. So you will have to be subscribed to Microsoft 365, and that's using a personal and or um, family subscription. Now, I don't use Microsoft 365. I'm more tied into the Google ecosystem. And when it comes to apps I use on a daily basis, um, but because I like to keep you informed on this channel, I did download the app from the store. I didn't sign into the app or sign up to 365. Just want to let you know, though, that um, if you are like me and you don't want to um, sign up to 365 um, and you want to try out the app, sign into 365 um, and use their one month free trial. So that means you'll be able to use the app for one month. And then if you don't want to continue paying, um, you just cancel your subscription before that month is up. Now, as I have posted um, um, a couple of videos uh, previously um, on, on, on the new Microsoft Defender app, which you can just do a search for um, if you would like to get some more information, um, you can just do a search for those on this channel. If you are interested, um, just to go through a quick summary of the key highlights um, using some screenshots and what Microsoft has highlighted in those release notes if you are interested. Now, as we can see here, it's a one centralized view gives you a one centralized view to monitor your online security status where you can see you and your family's data and device protections in one place and you can easily add or remove devices as well and then if we just head to the second screenshot um, you get malware protection for you and your family and you get continuous protection with antivirus scans on your apps and devices and also you can control what is scanned by identifying trusted apps and also trusted files and then if we look at the final screenshot yeah um it says you can stay up to date with real-time alerts on changes to you and your uh, family's security status get recommended actions to keep to help keep your uh, data and devices secure and then you also get security tips um, on how to stay safer online and that's according to microsoft with some of the highlights from those release notes just using some of those screenshots now just a a quick um, side note here if you have existing um, antivirus products installed on your system these will not be replaced by this new microsoft defender app um, the, the new microsoft defender app will only be used as your uh, uh, default antivirus product if those if, if you have no other antivirus product installed on your device so just um, be aware of that and the new Microsoft Defender app is designed for customers who use different device types regularly. So um, if you um, are using a single device, basically you are gaining nothing from installing the Microsoft Defender app um, on a single PC. As, um, as an example, um, Windows 10 and 11 does come bundled with the free version of the Windows Security app, which does have Microsoft Defender built into it. And personally, I don't think there's any reason if you are running a single PC, um, to pay any money as a home user uh, as you get the uh, Windows Security app, which I've used now for years and I have no problem using that app. But I um, just want to let you know that new Microsoft Defender app now is av available to download, but it is a paid subscription and you will have to be signed up to Microsoft 365 if you want to use the app. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.